What's up, y'all? It's your boy C coming back at you with another episode of C's Retro Garage. As usual, coming to you from the free state of Florida, here in outer space. It is Halloween time, and what Ghostbuster doesn't need a set of ecto goggles? Well, I guess it's time to make them. Let's get to work. Boys and girls, we are here at the Home Depot getting a can of gray spray paint, green spray paint, so we can do the ecto goggles. We already got the ecto goggles, so now we just have to find the remaining parts. For that, we gotta go to the plumbing section. Alright, so we're working on the ecto goggles, and what do you need? You need some dark green paint. You need some gray paint, you need a half inch coupler, you need a, I get these confused, but you can see they are different because one is technically a three quarter inch to one inch and the other one is a one inch to three quarter inch, which one I don't remember, but uh, as you can see they are different, uh, one is a little bit more uh, bulbous, a little bit higher up than the other okay uh, so Hobart welding goggles these are the closest thing in appearance to the uh, old surplus night uh, night vision that the Ghostbusters were wearing um, the only thing missing is of course the overhead strap which uh, if you, you can a slit here if you have the strap you can add it think of it kind of like a Jason mask and then what you need is some bolts I just kind of dug these up from my own personal stash you kind of pick something you want um, I'd prefer not to use black because it kind of takes away from the you know lens adjusters but uh, just to give you an idea at least what it look what this one looks like um, shoulder bolts is what I've been told the best um, something like this guy here, uh, or as long as you had some shiny metal, kind of like these guys here, uh, to kind of go in there. Uh, uh, these, just give you an idea, uh, these will clean up, you know, clean them up, shine them up real nice, and then you take your Dremel tool and you make the holes to kind of put these in. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, this guy would have the coupler. Let me see. It'll look something like that. Out of which uh, this one will be painted, I believe, black. Oh, you also need some black spray paint. I forgot. Uh, the reason I didn't mention this is because I actually have black spray paint, so I didn't need to go out and buy it. Uh, if I remember right, I believe these, these are painted black, and this one's painted black up to here. I'll, rev I'll just double check that uh, and then it's silver for the coupler and silver the rest of the way here or excuse me gray in our case because we're going to use a gray if you want to go the extra step you could use silver and use gray for the uh, volleyball uh, knee pads which you'll wear as elbow pads or you could just use the, the dye the same dye um, I haven't tried the dye yet some people say the dye doesn't stick to the knee pads I mean I could always find out um, the die is more than anything for the, the belt, you know, the uh, pistol belt. So, this is what you need pretty much to make the ecto goggles. And probably just some tape, you know, to tape off the, uh, the sections in here where, where these guys are going to kind of stick to. Tape those guys off and then tape off this here. And that's pretty much it. And then your Dremel tool. And uh, then get to work. All right, so as far as the ecto goggles, we got the Hobart welding goggles. Pull the six air holes or vent holes out, 
and I took the glass, there's a glass that goes in here, I took the glass off, but put the actual mask back on, and what I did was I kind of eyeballed uh, using the pipes where the eye holes are going to be, and I, what I did was I took two quarters and put a piece of tape on one side inside of the pipe, and then flipped it and, and sat it on the glass, and you know, just pushed my finger through and stuck it and covered the quarters. And just like this, just go ahead and go to town and spray paint uh, to your heart's content. And then, out of the four vent holes or vents, two of them will get painted silver, which will get put back on this mask. I believe one goes here. And one I think goes on this one, I'm not sure, I have to take a look at the picture again. Uh, but the rest just stay black. Pretty simple. So yeah, look at that. The quarters worked. Those are the same goggles. Uh, so now we just get our glue gun and we put the pipes on and make it look more authentic. Alright, so we have the nearly finished Ecto Goggles. Uh, just got to clean them up a little bit. Uh, I will put in the description the link on where to get the label. But as you can see, this one even has the labels. And we're on the Ecto goggles. Now I had to do a little modification of the labels to uh, get them to fit a little more appropriately. Um, I did not realize that they made these pipe fittings round. However, I couldn't find them round, so I kind of cut them to uh, fit. As you can see they're on both sides. Okay. And adjust the bolts as you would like. Uh, believe it or not, as you saw earlier, you can see, you can actually see through here. And uh, I modified this. Yeah, I know this one it faces that way while these face this way, but that's how it shows in the diagram. Um, this shows as one solid sticker not possible to do it on this particular lens so I kind of split the on and off where you know you could still open the um, the shield here uh, the pull IR uh, this is one of the gray or silver buttons uh, I could not tell which would be the other one because I was told it was two uh, so I put it on this side it just kind of made sense considering these two stuck here uh, there's one more little part that I want to do with this guy here Oh, and by the way, uh, one of the ones would usually go in here, uh, but the sticker is going to cover that up. Um, uh, they look a little tattered. That's okay. It's all right. Um, because remember, it's uh, you go through a hard day's work, so it shouldn't look perfect. Um, but I got this dog leash here, which uh, I'm going to end up painting these and cutting these up to make the fobs, which go on the belt. Uh, so what's left to this when I cut it it's going to be used to make what I call the, uh, the Jason strap or the you know the hockey mask strap because remember it actually goes one this way and then goes one from the top over uh, so you can just take your blade here and make a slit you know and then just run your uh, piece of dog leash through here hot glue it wrap around and hot glue it here and that should be it and then just you know paint it black so it kind of matches um, but now you got a set of ecto goggles. You know, they look pretty damn cool, man. You got labels and all that, and um, you know, nothing, uh, nothing to scoff at. You know, compared to spending, I think it's a buck fifty for the actual ones, or maybe even more. Uh, these were like twelve bucks on Amazon. Um, these pipe fittings, I want to say, were like. Few cents, maybe 32 cents or whatever they were. Uh, the, the bolts, I actually had these in my own stash with the uh, T size holes, and I just kind of just kind of guessed and I polished them up a little bit. And then you drill a hole here and you drill a hole there, and you you know slowly pop it in there to the desired length. And that's a that's about as far as you need to go for the ecto goggles. And these suckers just sit right up on your head. Uh, you can see through them, but in the dark, it's going to be damn near impossible. Because remember, these are welding goggles. During the day, yeah, your sight will be limited to you know something like that. But you could see with them if you're just wearing them for like a minute or two. You should be all right. Uh, so uh, that's it for the ecto goggles. We'll do the Jason strap. We'll do a little 
I'll put it on the Jason strap uh, once I get to that point. And here's your dog collars, uh, adult, child. And this is the Jason strap for the ecto goggles. So again, make your, your fobs accordingly. Um, just plain old can of spray paint. Paint them, uh, and this of course will be fed through a little slit I'll cut in the ecto goggles, glued this way and then glued over the other strap. And these of course go right through the, right through your belt. And that's it as far as those. So the Jason strap is cake, guys. See that? That was from the dog leash. So just wrap around the back, take an exacto, draw a little slit here, just wide enough. Grab your glue gun, go to town, and that's the last piece of that. And here are your ecto goggles. This is the finished product. You can still see through them. They fit a full set of eyeglasses. That's less than $20. Look how badass they are. So that's it for this episode of Season Retro Garage. Reminding you, as always, from here in the free state of Florida, stay safe, be kind one to another. Happy Halloween.